The House of Habsburg, German Habpuch, also spelled Habsburg in English and alternatively called the House of Austria, House Osterich in German, Casa de Austria in Spanish, was one of the most influential and distinguished royal houses of Europe. The throne of the Holy Roman Empire was continuously occupied by the Habsburgs from 1438 until their extinction in the male line in 1740. The house also produced emperors and kings of Bohemia, Hungary, Croatia, Galicia, Portugal and Spain with their respective colonies, as well as rulers of several principalities in the Netherlands and Italy. From the 16th century, following the reign of Charles V, the dynasty was split between its Austrian and Spanish branches. Although they ruled distinct territories, they nevertheless maintained close relations and frequently intermarried. The house takes its name from Habsburg Castle, a fortress built in the 1020s in present-day Switzerland, in the canton of Argau, by Count Radbot of Klitgau, who named his fortress Habsburg. His grandson Otto II was the first to take the fortress name as his own, adding, Count of Habsburg. To his title, the House of Habsburg gathered dynastic momentum through the 11th, 12th, and 13th centuries. In 1273, Count Radbot's seventh-generation descendant Rudolf of Habsburg became Roman German king. He moved the family's power base to the Duchy of Austria, which the Habsburgs ruled until 1918. A series of dynastic marriages enabled the family to vastly expand its domains to include Burgundy, Spain and its colonial empire, Bohemia, Hungary, and other territories. In the 16th century, the family separated into the senior Spanish and the junior Austrian branches, who settled their mutual claims in the Ornate Treaty. The House of Habsburg became extinct in the male line in the 18th century. The senior Spanish branch ended upon the death of Charles II of Spain in 1700 and was replaced by the House of Bourbon. The remaining Austrian branch became extinct in the male line in 1740 with the death of Holy Roman Emperor Charles VI. It was succeeded by the descendants of his eldest daughter Maria Theresa's marriage to Francis III, Duke of Lorraine. The successor house styled itself formally as the House of Habsburg-Lorraine, German, Habsburg-Lodringen, because it was often still referred to as the House of Habsburg. Historians use the appellation of the Habsburg monarchy for the countries and provinces that were ruled by the family until 1918. The House of Habsburg-Lorraine continues to exist to this day and its members use the Habsburg name, for example Karl von Habsburg. The Habsburg Empire had the advantage of size, but multiple disadvantages. There were rivals on four sides, its finances were unstable, the population was fragmented into multiple ethnicities, and its industrial base was thin. Its naval resources were so minimal that it did not attempt to build an overseas empire. It did have the advantage of good diplomats, typified by Prince Metternich, they had a grand strategy for survival that kept the empire going despite wars with the Ottomans, Frederick the Great, Napoleon and Bismarck, until the final disaster of the First World War. Along with the Capetian dynasty, it was one of the two most powerful continental European royal families, dominating European politics for nearly five centuries. Topic. Principal roles Their principal roles, including the roles of their cadet branches, were as follows. Holy Roman Emperors intermittently from 1273 until 1806, Roman German Kings Rulers of Austria as Dukes from 1278 until 1453, as Archdukes from 1453 until 1806-1918, as Emperors from 1804 until 1918 Emperors of Mexico 1864 to 1867 Kings of Bohemia 1306 to 1307, 1437 to 1439, 1453 to 1457, 1526 to 1918. Kings of Hungary and Croatia 1526 to 1918. Kings of Spain 1516 to 1700. Kings of Portugal 1581 to 1640. Kings of Galicia and Lodomeria 1772 to 1918. Grand Princes of Transylvania, 1690 to 1867. Numerous other titles were attached to the crowns listed above. Topic: History. Topic: Counts of Habsburg. 
The progenitor of the House of Habsburg may have been Guntram the Rich, a count in the Breisgau who lived in the 10th century, and forwards farther back as the early medieval Adelrich, Duke of Alsace, father of the Etichonids from which Habsburg derives. His grandson Radbot, Count of Habsburg founded the Habsburg Castle, after which the Habsburgs are named. The origins of the castle's name, located in what is now the Swiss canton of Argau, are uncertain. There is disagreement on whether the name is derived from the High German Habixburg Hob Castle, or from the Middle High German word Hab, Hab meaning ford, as there is a river with a ford nearby. The first documented use of the name by the dynasty itself has been traced to the year 1108. The Habsburg Castle was the family seat in the 11th, 12th and 13th centuries. The Habsburgs expanded their influence through arranged marriages and by gaining political privileges, especially countship rights in Zurichgau, Aargau and Thurgau. In the 13th century, the House aimed its marriage policy at families in Upper Alsace and Swabia. They were also able to gain high positions in the church hierarchy for their members. Territorially, they often profited from the extinction of other noble families such as the House of Kyberg. Topic. Kings of the Romans and consolidation in the Eastern Alps By the second half of the 13th century, Count Rudolf IV had become one of the most influential territorial lords in the area between the Vosges Mountains and Lake Constance. Due to these impressive preconditions, on 1 October 1273, Rudolf was chosen as the King of the Romans and received the name Rudolf I of Germany. In a crucial step towards the creation of his own power base in the Eastern Alps, Rudolf led a coalition against King Ottokar II of Bohemia, who had taken advantage of the Great Interregnum in order to expand southwards, taking over first the Babenberg, Austria, Styria, Savonia, and then the Spanheim inheritance, Carinthia and Carniola. In 1278, Ottokar was defeated and killed in the Battle of Marchfeld. The lands he had acquired in the previous decades were reverted back to the German crown. In 1282, the Habsburgs gained for themselves the rulership of the duchies of Austria and Styria, which they then held for over 600 years, until 1918. The southern portions of Ottokar's former realm, Carinthia, Carniola and Savonia, were granted to Rudolf's allies from the House of Gorizia. The resulting arrangement, known as the Habsburg Gorizia Equilibrium in the Eastern Alps, lasted for half a decade. After Rudolf's death, the Habsburgs failed to maintain the Roman kingship. In the 1300s, their attempt to gain the Bohemian crown was frustrated first by Henry of Bohemia and finally by the House of Luxembourg. However, the weakening of the House of Gorizia in this succession struggle enabled them to expand southwards. In 1311, they took over the Savonia, and after the death of Henry of Bohemia in 1335, they assumed power in Carniola and in Carinthia. In 1369, they would succeed his daughter in Tyrol, as well. After the death of Albert III of Gorizia in 1374, they gained their first foothold on the Adriatic, in central Istria, Mitterberg, followed by Trieste in 1382. Through the forged Privilegium Maius document 1358 a special bond was created between the House of Habsburg and Austria. The document, forged at the behest of Rudolf IV, Duke of Austria 1339 also attempted to introduce rules to preserve the unity of the family's Austrian lands. In the long term, this indeed succeeded, but Rudolf's brothers ignored the rule, leading to the separation of the Albertian and Leopoldian family lines in 1379. The former would maintain Austria proper, while the latter would rule over Styria, Carinthia, Carniola, which became known as Inner Austria, as well as Tyrol and the original Habsburg lands in Swabia, now known as Further Austria, by marrying Elizabeth of Luxembourg, the daughter of Holy Roman Emperor Sigismund in 1437, Duke Albert V, 1397 to 14. 1939, the Albertine line became the ruler of Bohemia and Hungary, expanding the family's political horizons. The next year, Albert V was crowned as the King of the Romans as Albert II. After his early death in war with the Turks in 1439, and after the death of his son Ladislaus Posthumus in 1457, the Habsburgs lost Bohemia and Hungary again. National kingdoms were established in these areas, and the Habsburgs were not able to restore their influence there for decades. With Ladislaus's death, the Albertine line died out, and the Leopoldine line took over all the family possessions. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Holy Roman Emperors In 1440, Frederick III was chosen by the Electoral College to succeed Albert II as the king. Several Habsburg kings had attempted to gain the imperial throne over the years, but success finally arrived on 19 March 1452, when Pope Nicholas V crowned Frederick III as the Holy Roman Emperor in a grand ceremony held in Rome. In Frederick III, the Pope found an important political ally with whose help he was able to counter the conciliar movement. While in Rome, Frederick III married Eleanor of Portugal, enabling him to build a network of connections with dynasties in the west and southeast of Europe. Frederick was rather distant to his family. Eleanor, by contrast, had a great influence on the raising and education of Frederick's children, and therefore played an important role in the family's rise to prominence. After Frederick III's coronation, the Habsburgs were able to hold the imperial throne almost continuously for centuries, until 1806. As emperor, Frederick III took a leading role inside the family and positioned himself as the judge over the family's internal conflicts, often making use of the privilegium maius. He was able to restore the unity of the house's Austrian lands, as the Albertinian line was now extinct. Territorial integrity was also strengthened by the extinction of the Tyrolean branch of the Leopoldian line in 1490–1496. Frederick's aim was to make Austria a united country, stretching from the Rhine to the Mur and Lether. On the external front, one of Frederick's main achievements was the Siege of Neuss 1474 in which he forced Charles the Bold of Burgundy to give his daughter Mary of Burgundy as wife to Frederick's son Maximilian. The wedding took place on the evening of 16 August 1477 and ultimately resulted in the Habsburgs acquiring control of the Low Countries. After Mary's early death in 1482, Maximilian attempted to secure the Burgundy inheritance to one of his and Mary's children Philip the Handsome. Charles VIII of France contested this, using both military and dynastic means, but the Burgundian succession was finally ruled in favour of Philip in the Treaty of Sonlis in 1493. After the death of his father in 1493, Maximilian was proclaimed the new King of the Romans, receiving the name Maximilian I. Maximilian was initially unable to travel to Rome to receive the imperial title from the Pope, due to opposition from Venice and from the French who were occupying Milan, as well a refusal from the Pope due to enemy forces being present on his territory. In 1508, Maximilian proclaimed himself as the chosen emperor, and this was also recognized by the Pope due to changes in political alliances. This had a historical consequence in that, in the future, the Roman king would also automatically become emperor, without needing the pope's consent. In 1530, Emperor Charles V became the last person to be crowned as the emperor by the pope. Maximilian's rule 1493 was a time of great expansion for the Habsburgs. In 1497, Maximilian's son Philip the Handsome, also known as Philip the Fair, married Joanna of Castile, also known as Joan the Mad, heiress of Castile, Aragon, and most of Spain. Philip and Joan had six children, the eldest of whom became Emperor Charles V and inherited the kingdoms of Castile and Aragon, including their colonies in the New World, as Charles I, Southern Italy, Austria, and the Low Countries. The foundations for the later Empire of Austria Hungary were laid in 1515 by the means of a double wedding between Louis, only son of Vladislaus II, King of Bohemia and Hungary, and Maximilian's granddaughter Mary, and between her brother Archduke Ferdinand and Vladislaw's daughter Anna. The wedding was celebrated in grand style on the 22nd of July 1515 and has been described by some historians as the first congress of Vienna due to its significant implications for Europe's political landscape. All the children were still minors, so the wedding was formally completed in 1521. Vladislaus died on the 13th of March 1516 and Maximilian died on the 12th of January 1519, but his designs were ultimately successful. On Louis's death in 1526, Maximilian's grandson and Charles V's brother Ferdinand, became the King of Bohemia. The Habsburg dynasty achieved the position of a true world power by the time of Charles V's election in 1519, for the first and only time in their history. The world emperor, ruling an empire on which the sun never sets. The Habsburgs' policies against Protestantism led to an eradication of the former throughout vast areas under their control. Topic: <laughs> Division of the House, Spanish and Austrian Habsburgs. 
After the abdication of Charles V in 1556, the Habsburg dynasty split into the branch of the Austrian Habsburgs or German Habsburgs and the branch of the Spanish Habsburgs. Ferdinand I, King of Bohemia, Hungary, and Archduke of Austria in the name of his brother Charles V, became Suo Jury monarch as well as the Habsburg Holy Roman Emperor, designated as successor already in 1531. Philip II of Spain, son of Charles V, became King of Spain and its colonial empire, and ruler of the Mezzogiorno of Italy. The Spanish Habsburgs also ruled Portugal for a time, 1580–1640. The 17 provinces and the Duchy of Milan were also left in personal union under the King of Spain, but remained part of the Holy Roman Empire. Furthermore, the Spanish king had claims on Hungary and Bohemia. In the secret Onate Treaty, the Spanish and Austrian Habsburgs settled their mutual claims. The Spanish Habsburgs died out in 1700, prompting the War of the Spanish Succession, as did the last male of the Austrian Habsburg line in 1740, prompting the War of the Austrian Succession, and finally the last female of the Habsburg male line in 1780. Topic: <laughs> Extinction of the Spanish Habsburgs. The Habsburgs sought to consolidate their power by the frequent use of consanguineous marriages. This resulted in a cumulatively deleterious effect on their gene pool. Marriages between first cousins, or between uncle and niece, were commonplace in the family. A study of 3,000 family members over 16 generations by the University of Santiago de Compostela suggests that inbreeding directly led to their extinction. The gene pool eventually became so small that the last of the Spanish line Charles II, who was severely disabled from birth, perhaps by genetic disorders, possessed a genome comparable to that of a child born to a brother and sister, as did his father, probably because of remote inbreeding. <laughs> Extinction of the Austrian Habsburgs The Austrian branch became extinct in the male line in 1740 with the death of Charles VI and in the female line in 1780 with the death of his daughter Maria Theresa. It was succeeded by the Vorderman branch of the House of Lorraine in the person of her son Joseph II. The new successor house styled itself formally as House of Habsburg Lorraine, German, Habsburg Lodringen, although it was often referred to as simply the House of Habsburg. The heiress of the last Austrian Habsburgs Maria Theresa had married Francis Stephan, Duke of Lorraine, both of them were great-grandchildren of Habsburg Emperor Ferdinand III, but from different empresses. Their descendants carried on the Habsburg tradition from Vienna under the dynastic name Habsburg Lorraine, although technically a new ruling house came into existence in the Austrian territories, the House of Lorraine, see Dukes of Lorraine family tree. It is thought that extensive intra-family marriages within both lines contributed to their extinctions. Habsburg-Lorraine On 6 August 1806 the Holy Roman Empire was dissolved under the French Emperor Napoleon I's reorganization of Germany. However, in anticipation of the loss of his title of Holy Roman Emperor, Francis II declared himself hereditary emperor of Austria as Francis I on the 11th of August 1804, 3 months after Napoleon had declared himself emperor of the French on the 18th of May 1804. Emperor Francis I of Austria used the official full list of titles. We, Francis I, by the grace of God Emperor of Austria, King of Jerusalem, Hungary, Bohemia, Dalmatia, Croatia, Slavonia, Galicia and Lodomeria, Archduke of Austria, Duke of Lorraine, Salzburg, Würzburg, Franconia, Styria, Carinthia, and Carniola, Grand Duke of Krakow, Grand Prince of Transylvania, Margrave of Moravia, Duke of Sandomir, Masovia, Lublin, Upper and Lower Silesia, Auschwitz and Zeta, Teschen, and Friul, Prince Prince of Berchtesgaden and Mergentheim, princely Count of Habsburg, Gorizia, and Gradiskaren of the Tyrol, and Margrave of Upper and Lower Lusatia and Istria. The Austro-Hungarian Compromise of 1867 created a real union, whereby the Kingdom of Hungary was granted co-equality with the Empire of Austria, that henceforth didn't include the Kingdom of Hungary as a crownland anymore. 
The Austrian and the Hungarian lands became independent entities enjoying equal status under this arrangement. The Hungarians referred to their ruler as king and never emperor. CK, UK. This prevailed until the Habsburgs' deposition from both Austria and Hungary in 1918 following defeat in World War I. On the 11th of November 1918, with his empire collapsing around him, the last Habsburg ruler, Charles I of Austria, who also reigned as Charles IV of Hungary, issued a proclamation recognizing Austria's right to determine the future of the state and renouncing any role in state affairs. Two days later, he issued a separate proclamation for Hungary. Even though he did not officially abdicate, this is considered the end of the Habsburg dynasty. In 1919, the new Republican Austrian government subsequently passed a law banishing the Habsburgs from Austrian territory until they renounced all intentions of regaining the throne and accepted the status of private citizens. Charles made several attempts to regain the throne of Hungary, and in 1921 the Hungarian government passed a law which revoked Charles's rights and dethroned the Habsburgs. The Habsburgs did not formally abandon all hope of returning to power until Otto von Habsburg, the eldest son of Charles I, on 31 May 1961 renounced all claims to the throne. The dynasty's motto was, leave the waging of wars to others. But you, happy Austria, marry, for the realms which Mars awards to others, Venus transfers to you. Topic. Family tree. Topic. Early Habsburgs Family tree of the ancestors of the Habsburg family, largely before becoming Holy Roman Emperors and Archdukes of Austria. This family tree only includes male signs of the House of Habsburg from 920 to 1308. Otto II was probably the first to take the Habsburg castle name as his own, adding von Habsburg to his title and creating the House of Habsburg. See below for more references. Topic: Middle Habsburgs. Topic: Later Habsburgs. Similarly, this family tree only includes male signs of the House of Habsburg Lorraine who survived to adulthood. Topic. Monarchs of the House of Habsburg The Habsburg Empire was never composed of a single unified and unitary state as Bourbon France, Hohenzollern Germany, or Great Britain was. It was made up of an accretion of territories that owed their historic loyalty to the head of the House of Habsburg as hereditary lord. The Habsburgs had mostly married the heiresses of these territories, most famously of Spain and the Netherlands. They used their coats of arms then as a statement of their right to rule all these territories. As there were many territories, so their arms were complex and reflected the waxing and waning position of the Habsburgs within European power politics. It was not until the 19th century see below arms a dominion of the Austro-Hungarian Empire that the arms began to take on their own life as symbols of a state which may have an existence outside of the Habsburg dynasty. A complete listing of the arms can be found at the Habsburg Armory. Topic: Ancestors. Guntram the Rich, CA 930-985-990th, father of the chronology of the Muri Abbey, burial place of the early Habsburgs, written in the 11th century, states that Guntramnus Dives, Guntram the Rich, was the ancestor of the House of Habsburg. Many historians believe this indeed makes Guntram the progenitor of the House of Habsburg. However, this account was 200 years after the fact, and much about him and the origins of the Habsburgs is uncertain. If true, as Guntram was a member of the member of Etichonida family, it would link the Habsburg lineage to this family. Lenzelin of Altenburg died 991. Besides Radbot, below, he had sons named Rudolf I, Wernher, and Landolf. Topic. Counts of Habsburg Before Rudolf rose to German king, the Habsburgs were Counts of Baden in what is today southwestern Germany and Switzerland. 
Radbot of Klitgau, built the Habsburg Castle, c. 985 Besides Werner I, he had two other sons, Otto I, who would become Count of Sundgau in the Alsace, and Albrecht I founded the Muri Abbey, which became the first burial place of members of the House of Habsburg. It is possible that Radbot founded the castle Habichtsburg, the residence of the House of Habsburg, but another possible founder is Werner I. Werner I, Count of Habsburg, 1025-1030-1096. Besides Otto II, there was another son, Albert II, who was Reeve of Murray from 1111 to 1141 after the death of Otto II. Otto II of Habsburg, first to name himself as of Habsburg, died 1111, father of Werner II of Habsburg, around 1135, died 1167, father of Albrecht III of Habsburg the Rich, died 1199. Under him, the Habsburg territories expanded to cover most of what is today the German-speaking part of Switzerland. Father of Rudolf II of Habsburg, b. c. 1160, died 1232. Father of Albrecht IV of Habsburg, died 1239-1240. Father of Rudolf IV of Habsburg, who would later become King Rudolf I of Germany. Between Albrecht IV and his brother Rudolf III, the Habsburg properties were split, with Albrecht keeping the Argau and the western parts, the eastern parts going to Rudolf III. Albrecht IV was also a mutual ancestor of Sophia Chotek and of her husband Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria. Topic. Dukes, Archdukes of Austria In the late Middle Ages, when the Habsburgs expanded their territories in the east, they usually ruled as Dukes of the Duchy of Austria which covered only what is today Lower Austria and the eastern part of Upper Austria The Habsburg possessions also included the rest of what was then called Inner Austria i.e. the Duchy of Styria, and then expanded west to include the Duchy of Carinthia and Carniola in 1335 and the Count of Tyrol in 1363. Their original scattered possessions in the southern Alsace, southwestern Germany and Vorarlberg were collectively known as Further Austria. The senior Habsburg dynasty generally ruled Lower Austria from Vienna as Archduke, Paramount Duke, of the Duchy of Austria. The Styrian lands had already been ruled in personal union by the Babenberg Dukes of Austria since 1192 and were finally seized with the Austrian lands by the Habsburg King Rudolf I of Germany upon his victory in the 1278 battle on the Marchfeld. In 1335 Rudolf's grandson Duke Albert II of Austria also received the Carinthian Duchy with the adjacent March of Carniola at the hands of Emperor Louis the Bavarian as imperial fiefs. The Habsburg Dukes gradually lost their homelands south of the Rhine and Lake Constance to the expanding Old Swiss Confederacy. Unless mentioned explicitly, the Dukes of Austria also ruled over Further Austria until 1379. After that year, Further Austria was ruled by the princely Count of Tyrol. Names in italics designate Dukes who never actually ruled. When Albert's son Duke Rudolf IV of Austria died in 1365, his younger brothers Albert III and Leopold III quarreled about his heritage and in the Treaty of Neuburg of 1379 finally split the Habsburg territories. The Albertinian line would rule in the Archduchy of Austria proper, then sometimes referred to as Lower Austria. Niederösterreich, but comprising modern Lower Austria and most of Upper Austria, while the Leopoldian line ruled in the Styrian, Carinthian, and Carniolan territories, subsumed under the denotation of Inner Austria. At that time, their share also comprised Tyrol and the original Habsburg possessions in Swabia, called Further Austria. Sometimes both were collectively referred to as Upper Austria Oberösterreich, in that context, also not to be confused with the modern state of that name. After the death of Leopold's eldest son William in 1406, the Leopoldinian line was further split among his brothers into the Inner Austrian territory under Ernest the Iron and a Tyrolean, further Austrian line under Frederick IV. In 1457 Ernest's son Duke Frederick V of Inner Austria also gained the Austrian Archduchy after his Albertine cousin Ladislaus the Posthumous had died without issue. 1490 saw the reunification of all Habsburg lines when Archduke Sigismund of Further Austria and Tyrol resigned in favor of Frederick's son Maximilian I. In 1512, the Habsburg territories were incorporated into the Imperial Austrian Circle. 
Archduke of Austria, was invented in the Privilegium Maius, a 14th-century forgery initiated by Duke Rudolf IV of Austria. Originally, it was meant to denote the ruler, thus, Arch of the Duchy of Austria, usually from Vienna, in an effort to put the Habsburgs on a par with the prince electors, as Austria had been bypassed as hereditary prince electors of the empire when the Golden Bull of 1356 assigned that title to the highest ranking imperial princes. The Holy Roman Emperor Charles IV refused to recognize the title. The archducal title was only officially recognized in 1453 by Emperor Frederick III. Emperor Frederick III himself used just Duke of Austria, never Archduke, until his death in 1493. The title was first granted to Frederick's younger brother, Albert VI of Austria, died 1463, who used it at least from 1458. In 1477, Frederick III also granted the title Archduke to his first cousin, Sigismund of Austria, ruler of further Austria. Frederick's son and heir, the future Emperor Maximilian I, started to use the title, but apparently only after the death of his wife Mary of Burgundy, died 1482, as Archduke never appears in documents issued jointly by Maximilian and Mary as rulers in the Low Countries, where Maximilian is still titled, Duke of Austria. The title appears first in documents issued under the joint rule of Maximilian and Philip, his underage son, in the Low Countries. Archduke was initially born by those dynasts who ruled the Habsburg territory, i.e., only by males and their consorts, appanages being commonly distributed to cadets. But these junior archdukes did not thereby become independent hereditary rulers, since all territories remained vested in the Austrian crown. Occasionally a territory might be combined with a separate gubernatorial mandate ruled by an archducal cadet. From the 16th century onward, Archduke and its female form, Archduchess, came to be used by all the members of the House of Habsburg e.g., Queen Marie Antoinette of France was born Archduchess Maria Antonia of Austria. Rudolf II, son of Rudolf I, Duke of Austria and Styria together with his brother 1282-1283, was dispossessed by his brother, who eventually would be murdered by one of Rudolf's sons. Albert I, Albrecht I, son of Rudolf I and brother of the above, Duke from 1282 to 1308, was Holy Roman Emperor from 1298 to 1308, see also below. Rudolf III, the oldest son of Albert I, designated Duke of Austria and Styria 1298 to 1307. Frederick the Handsome, Friedrich der Schoen, brother of Rudolf III, Duke of Austria and Styria, with his brother Leopold I, from 1308 to 1330, officially co-regent of the Emperor Louis IV since 1325, but never ruled. Leopold I, brother of the above, Duke of Austria and Styria from 1308 to 1326. Albert II, Albrecht II, brother of the above, Duke of Further Austria from 1326 to 1358, Duke of Austria and Styria 1330 to 1358, Duke of Carinthia after 1335. Otto the Jolly, der Froelich, brother of the above, Duke of Austria and Styria 1330 to 1339, together with his brother, Duke of Carinthia after 1335. Rudolf IV the founder, der Stifter, oldest son of Albert II, Duke of Austria and Styria 1358-1365, Duke of Tyrol after 1363. After the death of Rudolf IV, his brothers Albert III and Leopold III ruled the Habsburg possessions together from 1365 until 1379, when they split the territories in the Treaty of Neuburg, Albert keeping the Duchy of Austria and Leopold ruling over Styria, Carinthia, Carniola, the Windic March, Tyrol, and further Austria. Topic. Albertine line, Dukes of Austria Albert III, Albrecht III, Duke of Austria until 1395, from 1386 after the death of Leopold until 1395 also ruled over the latter's possessions. Albert IV, Albrecht IV, Duke of Austria 1395-1404, in conflict with Leopold IV, Albert V, Albrecht V, Duke of Austria 1404-1439, Holy Roman Emperor from 1438-1439 as Albert II, see also below. Ladislaus Posthumus, son of the above, Duke of Austria 1440-1457. Topic: 
Leopoldine Line, Dukes of Styria, Carinthia, Tyrol, Inner Austria. Leopold III, Duke of Styria, Carinthia, Tyrol, and further Austria until 1386, when he was killed in the Battle of Sempach. William Wilhelm, son of the above, 1386 to 1406, Duke in Inner Austria, Carinthia, Styria. Leopold IV, son of Leopold III, 1391 Regent of Further Austria, 1395 to 1402 Duke of Tyrol, after 1404 also Duke of Austria, 1406 to 1411 Duke of Inner Austria. Topic: <laughs> Leopoldine Inner Austrian subline. Ernest the Iron, der Eisen, 1406 to 1424, Duke of Inner Austria, until 1411, together and competing with his brother Leopold IV. Frederick V, Friedrich, son of Ernst, became Emperor Frederick III in 1440. He was Duke of Inner Austria from 1424 on. Guardian of Sigismund 1439 to 1446 and of Ladislaus Posthumus 1440 to 1452. See also below. Albert VI, Albrecht VI, brother of the above, 1446 to 1463, Regent of Further Austria, Duke of Austria, 1458 to 1463. Ernestine line of Saxon princes, ancestor of George I of Great Britain, descended from sister of Frederick III, also Prince Frederick Charles of Hesse, King of Finland, 1918. Topic: Leopoldine Tyrol subline. Frederick IV, Friedrich, brother of Ernst, 1402–1439 Duke of Tyrol and further Austria Sigismund, also spelled Siegmund or Sigmund, 1439–1446 under the tutelage of the Frederick V above, then Duke of Tyrol, and after the death of Albrecht VI in 1463 also Duke of further Austria. Topic. Reuniting of Habsburg possessions Sigismund had no children and adopted Maximilian I, son of Duke Frederick V, Emperor Frederick III. Under Maximilian, the possessions of the Habsburgs would be united again under one ruler, after he had reconquered the Duchy of Austria after the death of Matthias Corvinus, who resided in Vienna and styled himself Duke of Austria from 1485 to 1490. Topic. King of the Romans and Holy Roman Emperors prior to the reunion of the Habsburg possessions Rudolf I, Emperor 1273–1291, never crowned Albert I, Emperor 1298–1308, never crowned Albert II, Emperor 1438–1439, never crowned, ancestor of Empress Catherine II of Russia Frederick III, Emperor 1440–1493 Topic: Kings of Hungary and Bohemia prior to the reunion of the Habsburg possessions Albert, King of Hungary and Bohemia 1437–1439 Ladislaus V. Posthumus, King of Hungary 1444–1457 and Bohemia 1453 to 1457. Topic: Holy Roman Emperors, Archdukes of Austria. The title Archduke of Austria, the one most famously associated with the Habsburgs, was invented in the Privilegium Maius, a 14th-century forgery initiated by Duke Rudolf IV of Austria. Originally, it was meant to denote the ruler of the thus Archduchy of Austria, in an effort to put that ruler on par with the prince electors, as Austria had been passed over in the Golden Bull of 1356, when the electorships had been assigned. Holy Roman Emperor Charles IV refused to recognize the title. Ladislaus the Posthumous, Duke of Austria, who died in 1457, was never in his lifetime authorized to use it, and accordingly, not he nor anyone in his branch of the dynasty ever used the title. Duke Ernest the Iron and his descendants unilaterally assumed the title, Archduke. This title was only officially recognized in 1453 by his son, Emperor Frederick III, when the Habsburgs had permanently gained control of the office of the Holy Roman Emperor. 
Emperor Frederick III himself used just Duke of Austria, never Archduke, until his death in 1493. Frederick's son and heir, the future Emperor Maximilian I, started to use the title, but apparently only after the death of his wife Mary of Burgundy died 1482, as the title never appears in documents of joint Maximilian and Mary rule in the Low Countries where Maximilian is still titled Duke of Austria. The title appears first in documents of joint Maximilian and Philip his underage son rule in the Low Countries. It only gained currency with Charles V and the descendants of his brother, the Emperor Ferdinand. Maximilian I, Emperor 1508–1519 Charles V, Emperor 1519–1556, his arms are explained in an article about him. Titular Dukes of Burgundy, Lords of the Netherlands The reigning Duke of Burgundy, Charles the Bold, was the chief political opponent of Maximilian's father Frederick III. Charles controlled not only Burgundy, both dukedom and county, but the wealthy and powerful southern Netherlands, current Flanders, the real center of his power. Frederick was concerned about Burgundy's expansive tendencies on the western border of his Holy Roman Empire, and to forestall military conflict, he attempted to secure the marriage of Charles's only daughter, Mary of Burgundy, to his son Maximilian. After the siege of Neuss, 1474–75, he was successful. The wedding between Maximilian and Mary took place on the evening of 16 August 1477, after the death of Charles. Mary and the Habsburgs lost the Duchy of Burgundy to France, but managed to defend and hold on to the rest what became the 17 provinces of the Habsburg Netherlands. After Mary's death in 1482, Maximilian acted as regent for his son, Philip the Handsome, 1482 to 1506; Charles V, 1506 to 1555; Margaret of Austria, Duchess of Savoy, Regent, 1507 to 1515, and 1519 to 1530; Mary of Hungary, Dowager Queen of Hungary, sister of Charles V, Governor of the Netherlands, 1531 to 1555. Margaret of Parma, illegitimate daughter of Charles V, Duchess of Parma, and mother of Alexander Farnese, Duke of Parma, Governor 1559–1567 Don John of Austria, illegitimate son of Charles V, Victor of Lepanto, Governor of the Netherlands, 1576–1578 Alexander Farnese, Duke of Parma, son of Margaret of Parma, Governor of the Netherlands, 1578–1592 Netherlands were frequently governed directly by a regent or governor-general, who was a collateral member of the Habsburgs. By the Pragmatic Sanction of 1549 Charles V combined the Netherlands into one administrative unit, to be inherited by his son Philip II, Charles effectively united the Netherlands as one entity. The Habsburgs controlled the 17 provinces of the Netherlands until the Dutch revolt in the second half of the 16th century, when they lost the seven northern Protestant provinces. They held on to the southern Catholic part roughly modern Belgium and Luxembourg as the Spanish and Austrian Netherlands until they were conquered by French revolutionary armies in 1795. The one exception to this was the period of 1601 to 1621, when shortly before Philip II died on 13 September 1598, he renounced his rights to the Netherlands in favor of his daughter Isabella and her fiancé, Archduke Albert of Austria, a younger son of Emperor Maximilian II. The territories reverted to Spain on the death of Albert in 1621, as the couple had no surviving offspring, and Isabella acted as regent governor until her death in 1633. The Archdukes Albert and Isabella, 1601–1621 King of England Philip II of Spain, Jury Uxorus King, with Mary I of England 1554-1558. Topic: <inaudible> Spanish Habsburgs, Kings of Spain, Kings of Portugal 1581-1640. The Habsburg kingdoms of Spain were more a personal union of possessions of the Habsburg king and dynast, who was king of Castile, Leon, Aragon, Valencia, sometime of Portugal, Naples and Sicily, Duke of Milan, and Lord of the Americas, as well as Duke of Brabant, Count of Flanders and Holland, Duke of Luxembourg i.e. all the Habsburg Netherlands. A listing of a number of the titles can be seen here. 
The dynast, head of the Spanish Habsburgs, i.e. the king, showed this wide range of claims in his arms. There are many more variants of these arms in the Habsburg Armory, Spanish section as well as coat of arms of the King of Spain, coat of arms of Spain, coat of arms of the Prince of Asturias, and coats of arms of Spanish monarchs in Italy. The Spanish Habsburgs also kept up the Burgundian court tradition of the dynast being known via nickname, e.g. the bold, the prudent, the bewitched. In Spain they were known as the quote quote Casa de Austria, and illegitimate sons were known as de Austria, see Don Juan de Austria and Don Juan José de Austria. Philip I of Castile the Handsome, second son of Maximilian I, founded the Spanish Habsburgs in 1496 by marrying Joanna the Mad, daughter of Ferdinand and Isabella. Philip died in 1506, leaving the thrones of Castile and Aragon to be inherited and united into the throne of Spain by his son, Charles I 1516-1556, aka Charles V, Holy Roman Emperor, divided the house into Austrian and Spanish lines The meanings of his arms are analyzed here. Philip II the Prudent 1556-1598, also Philip I of Portugal 1581-1598 and Philip I of England with his wife Mary I of England 1554-1558. The meanings of his arms are analyzed here. Philip III the Pious, also Philip II of Portugal 1598–1621. Philip IV the Great 1621–1665, also Philip III of Portugal 1621–1640. Charles II the Bewitched, El Hechizado, 1665–1700 The War of the Spanish Succession took place after the extinction of the Spanish Habsburg line, to determine the inheritance of Charles II. Topic. Austrian Habsburgs, Holy Roman Emperors, Kings of Hungary and Bohemia, Archdukes of Austria The main junior line of the house ruled the Duchy of Austria, as well as the Kingdom of Bohemia and the Kingdom of Hungary. The dynasty however was split up again in 1564 among the children of deceased Emperor Ferdinand I of Habsburg. The inner Austrian line founded by Archduke Charles II prevailed again, when his son and successor as regent of Inner Austria i.e. the Duchy of Styria, the Duchy of Carniola with March of Istria, the Duchy of Carinthia, the princely county of Gorizia and Gradisca, and the imperial city of Trieste, ruled from Graz Ferdinand II in 1619 became Archduke of Austria and Holy Roman Emperor as well as King of Bohemia and Hungary in 1620. The further Austrian, Tyrolean line of Ferdinand's brother Archduke Leopold V survived until the death of his son Sigismund Francis in 1665, whereafter their territories ultimately returned to common control with the other Austrian Habsburg lands. Inner Austrian stadtholders went on to rule until the days of Empress Maria Theresa in the 18th century. Charles V, Emperor 1519–1556, maintained legal authority over his brother Ferdinand I, Archduke of Austria and King of Bohemia and Hungary. Divided the House of Habsburg into Spanish and Austrian branches in 1556, when Ferdinand became monarch suo jury and emperor, Ferdinand I, Emperor 1556–1564, family tree. Maximilian II, Emperor 1564–1576 Rudolf II, Emperor 1576–1612 Matthias, Emperor 1612–1619 Ferdinand II, Emperor 1619–1637 Ferdinand III, Emperor 1637–1657, Family Tree Leopold I, Emperor 1658–1705 Joseph I, Emperor 1705–1711 Charles VI, Emperor 1711–1740 Maria Theresa of Austria, Habsburg heiress and wife of Emperor Francis I Stephen, reigned as Archduchess of Austria and Queen of Hungary and Bohemia 1740–1780. The War of the Austrian Succession took place after the extinction of the male line of the Austrian Habsburg line upon the death of Charles VI. The direct Habsburg line itself became totally extinct with the death of Maria Theresa of Austria, when it was followed by the House of Lorraine, styled of Habsburg-Lorraine. Topic: 
House of Habsburg Lorraine, Main Line, Holy Roman Emperors, Kings of Hungary and Bohemia, Archdukes of Austria. Francis I Stephen, Emperor 1745 to 1765, Family Tree. Joseph II, Emperor 1765 to 1790. Leopold II, Emperor 1790 to 1792, Family Tree. Francis II, Emperor 1792 to 1806, Family Tree. Queen Maria Christina of Austria of Spain, great granddaughter of Leopold II, Holy Roman Emperor above. Wife of Alfonso XII of Spain and mother of Alfonso XIII of the House of Bourbon. Alfonso XIII's wife Victoria Eugenia Battenberg was descended from King George I of Great Britain from the Habsburg Leopold line above. The House of Habsburg Lorraine retained Austria and attached possessions after the dissolution of the Holy Roman Empire. See below. A son of Leopold II was Archduke Rainer of Austria whose wife was from the House of Savoy, a daughter Adelaide, Queen of Sardinia was the wife of King Victor Emmanuel II of Piedmont, Savoy, and Sardinia and King of Italy. Their children married into the royal houses of Bonaparte, Saxe-Coburg and Gotha, Braganca, Portugal, Savoy, Spain, and the dukedoms of Montferrat and Chablis. Topic. House of Habsburg-Lorraine, Main Line, Emperors of Austria Francis I, Emperor of Austria 1804–1835, formerly Francis II, Holy Roman Emperor, Family Tree Ferdinand I, Emperor of Austria 1835–1848 Francis Joseph, Emperor of Austria 1848–1916 Charles I, Emperor of Austria 1916–1918. He died in exile in 1922. His wife was of the House of Bourbon Parma. <laughs> House of Habsburg-Lorraine, Grand Dukes of Tuscany Francis Stephen 1737 to 1765, later Francis I, Holy Roman Emperor. Francis Stephen assigned the Grand Duchy of Tuscany to his second son Peter Leopold, who in turn assigned it to his second son upon his accession as Holy Roman Emperor. Tuscany remained the domain of this cadet branch of the family until Italian unification. Peter Leopold 1765 to 1790, later Leopold II, Holy Roman Emperor. Ferdinand III 1790 to 1800 1814 to 1824 family tree Leopold II 1824 to 1849 1849 to 1859 Ferdinand IV 1859 to 1860 Topic House of Habsburg Lorraine Tuscany line post monarchy Ferdinand IV 1860 to 1908 Archduke Joseph Ferdinand Prince of Tuscany 1908 to 1942 Archduke Peter Ferdinand Prince of Tuscany 1942 to 1948 Archduke Gottfried Prince of Tuscany 1948 to 1984 Archduke Leopold Franz Prince of Tuscany 1984 to 1993 Archduke Sigismund, Grand Duke of Tuscany 1993 present. Topic: House of Habsburg Lorraine, Austria Este, Dukes of Medina. The Duchy of Medina was assigned to a minor branch of the family by the Congress of Vienna. It was lost to Italian unification. The dukes named their line the House of Austria Este, as they were descended from the daughter of the last Dest Duke of Medina. Francis IV 1814–1831, 1831–1846 Family tree Francis V 1846–1848, 1849–1859 Topic House of Habsburg-Lorraine, Medina line, post-monarchy Francis V, 1859–1875, Franz Ferdinand, Archduke of Austria Este and Crown Prince of Austria-Hungary, 1875–1914, Karl, Archduke of Austria Este, 1914–1917, Robert, Archduke of Austria Este, 1917–1996, Lorenz, Archduke of Austria Este, 1996–present. 
Topic: <laughs> House of Habsburg Lorraine, Archduchess of Austria, Empress Consort of Brazil and Queen Consort of Portugal. Dona Maria Leopoldina of Austria, the 22nd of January 1797 to the 11th of December 1826, was an Archduchess of Austria, Empress Consort of Brazil and Queen Consort of Portugal. Topic: House of Habsburg Lorraine, Empress Consort of France. Marie Louise of Austria, 1810 to 1814. Topic: House of Habsburg Lorraine, Duchess of Parma. The Duchy of Parma was likewise assigned to a Habsburg, but did not stay in the house long before succumbing to Italian unification. It was granted to the second wife of Napoleon I of France, Maria Luisa Duchess of Parma, a daughter of the Francis II, Holy Roman Emperor, who was the mother of Napoleon II of France. Napoleon had divorced his wife Rose de Tasha de la Pagerie better known to history as Josephine de Bohemise in her favour. Maria Luisa 1814–1847 Family tree House of Habsburg Lorraine, Emperor of Mexico Maximilian, the adventurous second son of Archduke Franz Karl, was invited as part of Napoleon III's manipulations to take the throne of Mexico, becoming Emperor Maximilian I of Mexico. The conservative Mexican nobility, as well as the clergy, supported this second Mexican empire. His consort, Charlotte of Belgium, a daughter of King Leopold I of Belgium and a princess of the House of Saxe-Coburg-Gotha, encouraged her husband's acceptance of the Mexican crown and accompanied him as Empress Carlotta of Mexico. The adventure did not end well. Maximilian was shot in Cerro de las Campanas, Queretaro, in 1867 by the Republican forces of Benito Juárez. Maximilian I Family tree House of Habsburg Lorraine, Main Line, Heads of the House of Habsburg post -monarchy. Charles I was expelled from his domains after World War I and the Empire was abolished. Charles I Family Tree Otto von Habsburg Zeta of Bourbon Palmer, Guardian, 1922–1930 Karl von Habsburg, 2007–present see line of succession to the Austro-Hungarian throne Burials Kings of Hungary The kingship of Hungary remained in the Habsburg family for centuries, but as the kingship was not strictly inherited Hungary was an elective monarchy until 1687 and was sometimes used as a training ground for young Habsburgs, as Palatine of Hungary, the dates of rule do not always match those of the primary Habsburg possessions. Therefore, the kings of Hungary are listed separately. <laughs> Albertine Line, Kings of Hungary Albert, King of Hungary 1437–1439 Ladislaus V. Posthumus, King of Hungary 1444–1457 Austrian Habsburgs, Kings of Hungary Ferdinand I, King of Hungary 1526–1564 Maximilian I, King of Hungary 1563–1576 Rudolf I, King of Hungary 1572–1608 Matthias II, King of Hungary 1608–1619 Ferdinand II, King of Hungary 1618–1637 Ferdinand III, King of Hungary 1625–1657 Ferdinand IV, King of Hungary 1647–1654 Leopold I, King of Hungary 
Joseph I, King of Hungary 1687–1711 Charles III, King of Hungary 1711–1740 Maria Theresa, Queen of Hungary 1741–1780 Topic: House of Habsburg-Lorraine, Main Line, Kings of Hungary. Joseph II, King of Hungary 1780 to 1790. Leopold II, King of Hungary 1790 to 1792. Francis, King of Hungary 1792 to 1835. Ferdinand V, King of Hungary and Bohemia 1835 to 1848. Francis Joseph I, King of Hungary 1867–1916 Charles IV, King of Hungary 1916–1918 Kings of Bohemia After Václav III's death, there were no male heirs remaining in the pre Meislid line. Therefore, with the election of Rudolf in 1306, the kingship of Bohemia was a position elected by its nobles, although often the crown was transferred through war, such as John of Bohemia in 1310. As a result, it was not an automatically inherited position. Until the rule of Ferdinand I, Habsburgs didn't gain hereditary accession to the throne and were displaced by other dynasties. Hence, the kings of Bohemia and their ruling dates are listed separately. The Habsburgs became hereditary kings of Bohemia in 1627. By their acquisition of the Bohemian crown in 1526 the Habsburgs secured the highest rank among the secular prince-electors of the Holy Roman Empire. <laughs> Main line Rudolf I, King of Bohemia 1306–1307 Henry of Bohemia, King of Bohemia 1307–1310 John of Bohemia, King of Bohemia 1310–1346 Albertine line, Kings of Bohemia Albert, King of Bohemia 1437–1439 Ladislaus Posthumus, King of Bohemia 1453–1457 Topic: Austrian Habsburgs, Kings of Bohemia. Ferdinand I, King of Bohemia 1526–1564. Maximilian I, King of Bohemia 1563–1576. Rudolf II, King of Bohemia 1572–1611. Matthias, King of Bohemia 1611–1618. Ferdinand II, King of Bohemia 1621–1637 Ferdinand III, King of Bohemia 1625–1657 Ferdinand IV, King of Bohemia 1647–1654 Leopold I, King of Bohemia 1655–1705 Joseph I, King of Bohemia 1687–1711 Charles VI, King of Bohemia 1711–1740 Maria Theresa, Queen of Bohemia 1743–1780 House of Habsburg-Lorraine, Main Line, Kings of Bohemia Joseph II, King of Bohemia 1780–1790 Leopold II, King of Bohemia 1790–1792 Francis, King of Bohemia 1792–1835 Ferdinand V, King of Bohemia 1835–1848 Francis Joseph I, King of Bohemia 1848–1916 Charles III, King of Bohemia 1916–1918 Topic: Family name Habsburg. Most royal families did not have a family name until the 19th century. They were known as of in German von, based on the main territory they ruled. For example, sons, daughters, grandsons, and granddaughters of a ruling French king were known as a France. See Wikipedia on House of Bourbon. 
The name, Capet, was an invention of the French revolutionaries. Bourbon was in some sense the name of the house as it was differentiated from the previous Valois kings. Princes and princesses of the Royal House of England were known as of England, or later, Great Britain, see House of Windsor, or of the main title associated with their parent, see Prince William of Wales. In the Middle Ages, princes of England were often known by the town or castle of their birth, see John of Gaunt, Henry Bolingbrick, or Henry of Monmouth. Even when the royal family had a last name, see House of Tudor, House of Stuart, or House of Windsor, it was not used in their titles. Similarly, the Habsburg name was used as one of the subsidiary titles of the rulers above, as in Princely Count of Habsburg. See above under Habsburg Lorraine. The Habsburg arms, see above, were displayed only in the most complete great arms of the prince. The dynasty was known as the House of Austria. Most of the princes above were known as Archduke XYZ of Austria and had no need of a surname. Charles V was known in his youth after his birthplace as Charles of Ghent. When he became King of the Spains he was known as Charles of Spain until he became Emperor, when he was known as Charles V. Charles Quint. In Spain, the dynasty was known as the Casa de Austria, and illegitimate sons were given the title of de Austria. See Don Juan de Austria and Don Juan Jose de Austria. The arms displayed in their simplest form were those of Austria, which the Habsburgs had made their own, at times impaled with the arms of the Duchy of Burgundy ancient. When Maria Theresa married the Duke of Lorraine, Francis Stephen see above, there was a desire to show that the ruling dynasty continued as did all its inherited rights, as the ruling dynasty's right to rule was based on inherited legitimate birthright in each of the constituent territories. Using the concept of Habsburg, as the traditional Austrian ruler was one of those ways. When Francis I became Emperor of Austria, there was an even further reinforcement of this by the reappearance of the arms of Habsburg in the tripart personal arms of the House with Austria and Lorraine. This also reinforced the «Germaness» of the Austrian Emperor and his claim to rule in Germany against the Prussian kings, or at least to be included in «Germany». As Emperor Francis Joseph wrote to Napoleon III 9, ich bin ein Deutscher first in the genealogical table above, some younger sons who had no prospects of the throne, were given the personal title of Count of Habsburg. Today, as the dynasty is no longer on the throne, the surname of members of the house is taken to be von Habsburg, or more completely, von Habsburg Lothringen. See Otto von Habsburg and Karl von Habsburg. Princes and members of the house use the tripartite arms shown above, generally foregoing any imperial pretensions. Topic: <laughs> Arms of dominion of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. The arms of dominion began to take on a life of their own in the 19th century as the idea of the state is independent from the Habsburg dynasty took root. They are the national arms as borne by a sovereign in his capacity as head of state and represent the state as separate from the person of the monarch or his dynasty. That very idea had been, heretofore, foreign to the concept of the Habsburg state. The state had been the personal property of the Habsburg dynast. Since the states, territories, and nationalities represented were in many cases only united to the Austro-Hungarian Empire by their historic loyalty to the head of the House of Habsburg as hereditary lord, these four grand arms of dominion of Austria-Hungary reflect the complex political infrastructure that was necessarily to accommodate the many different nationalities and groupings within the empire after the Austro-Hungarian Compromise of 1867. After 1867 the eastern part of the empire, also called Translitania, was mostly under the domination of the Kingdom of Hungary. The shield integrated the arms of the Kingdom of Hungary, with two angels and supporters and the crown of St. Stephen, along with the territories that were subject to it. The Kingdom of Dalmatia, the Kingdom of Croatia, the Kingdom of Slavonia, conjoined with Croatia as the Kingdom of Croatia-Slavonia, formerly known as the Triune Kingdom of Croatia, Slavonia, and Dalmatia, although the claim to Dalmatia was mostly de jure, the Great Principality of Transylvania, the Condominium of Bosnia and Herzegovina, 1915-1918, the city of Fumi and its district, modern Rijeka, and in the center, the Kingdom of Hungary. 
The western or Austrian part of the empire, Cisleithania, continued using the shield of the empire in 1815 but with the seals of various member territories located around the central shield. Paradoxically, some of these coats of arms belonged to the territories that were part of the Hungarian part of the empire and shield. This shield, the most frequently used until 1915, was known as the middle shield. There was also the small shield, with just the personal arms of the Habsburgs, as used in 1815. <inaudible> <inaudible> Version of 1915 In 1915, in the middle of World War I, Austria-Hungary adopted a heraldic composition uniting the shield that was used in the Hungarian part, also known as the Lands of the Crown of St. Stephen, with a new version of the medium shield of the Austrian part as depicted above in the section on the main line of the emperors of Austria. Before 1915, the arms of the different territories of the Austrian part of the empire heraldry was added to some areas not shown in the previous version and to the left to the Hungarian part appeared together in the shield positioned on the double-headed eagle coat of arms of the Austrian empire as an inescutcheon. The eagle was inside a shield with a gold field. The latter shield was supported by two griffins and was topped by the Austrian imperial crown previously these items were included only in the large shield. Then, shown in the center of both arms of dominion, as an inescutcheon to the inescutcheon, is the small shield, i.e. personal arms, of the Habsburgs. All this was surrounded by the collar order of the Golden Fleece. In the heraldic composition of 1915, the shields of the two foci of the empire, Austria and Hungary, were brought together. The griffin supporter on the left was added for Austria and an angel on the right as a supporter for Hungary. The center featured the personal arms of the Habsburgs Habsburg, Austria and Lorraine. This small shield was topped with a royal crown and surrounded by the collar of the Order of the Golden Fleece, below which was the military order of Maria Theresa, below which was the collars of the orders of St. Stephen's and Leopold. At the bottom was the motto that read, Acindivisibilitererabilitier. Indivisible and inseparable. There were other simplified versions which did not have the supports depicted, and the simple shields of Austria and Hungary. These were the arms of the Empire of Austria with an inescutcheon of Austria, and the arms of Hungary with Checker of Croatia at the tip. Gallery See also equals equals notes